Yo, what up, what up, people? What's good? Your boy Habib out here again, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a desk setup tour, showing you guys all the tech gears and gadgets that I use to maximize my productivity every time I'm on my desk. I'm also going to be dropping the link to all the things that I mentioned in this video in the description down below, so make sure you guys check it out. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's get it. So let me start with the brain that powers everything and it's the 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro with an Intel Core i5 processor. It comes with 8GB of RAM, 251GB of storage space and I'm currently running the Mac OS Ventura 13.2.4. I love how simple, sleek, slim and portable it looks and unlike most people complain, I don't have a problem with the fact that it has just two Thunderbolt USB-C ports. The 13 inch MacBook Pro comes with a built-in retina display with a resolution of up to 1000 689 by 1059 so i've been using this macbook for almost three years now and i must say it's worth every penny i spent on it i mainly use it for coding school editing videos and entertainment during my downtime which is pretty much everything i do although apple has made better and faster macbooks over the years i feel like mine has been doing great over the years given the fact that it's mostly connected to two monitors 90 percent of the time overall it's been a great device and i barely have any problems with it now the macbook usually stand on this laptop stand holder which says a lot of space on my desk and it's connected to dual monitors via these cables every day every day every day work in progress every day work in progress i'll be changing now my main monitor is the Dell S2422 HG Curve Gaming Monitor. The color quality of this monitor is great, it's super bright and the display is decent. I've had this monitor for almost 2 years now and it's been great for every kind of work that I do on my desk. It has a diagonal size of 24 inches and a resolution of 1920 by 1080 Full HD at an impressive 165Hz refresh rate with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. One downside is that it doesn't come with a built-in speaker which kind of sucks but it does come with an headphone output, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DP 1.2 port for a better and a higher refresh rate. It's usually where I get most of my work done, whether it's schoolwork, coding or editing videos. During my downtime, I enjoy playing Asphalt 8 on it, as well as watching entertaining shows when I'm feeling bored. Now the screen on the right side is the Dell S2421HS flat screen monitor. I use it as a vertical screen to take care of all the extra work in order to keep my work flowing. As I get things done on my main monitor, the vertical screen is perfect for opening multiple Chrome tabs, viewing the outcome of my coding projects or watching tutorials on YouTube while coding or doing my own work. With a resolution of 1920 by 180 Full HD at 75Hz, you could barely tell its difference in color quality from my main monitor. It comes with two HDMI 1.4 ports, an headphone output and a built-in speaker which is a plus. Holding both monitors is this mount that I grabbed from Walmart and um yeah let's not talk about the cable management for my keyboard i went with the keychron k2 compact low profile wireless mechanical keyboard version 2. i personally like how it's low profile because i come from a non-mechanical keyboard and i wanted something i could adapt to you can choose to either connect it wirelessly to your computer via bluetooth or use a usb-c cable i personally prefer the wireless connection because it makes my desk cleaner so i went with the non-rgb light one since it's cheaper than the rgb one the brightness is adjustable and it has different modes that can easily be changed as preferred it doesn't matter if you're a mac user or windows user you can easily switch between your preferred device type it also comes with these replaceable keys so if you choose to go all gray or have it look different it's all you for my mouse i'm using the logitech mx master 3s for mac Personally, I think this is the best mouse out there. The design is very detailed and specifically made to fit your hand. The structure is built for productivity and every single part of this mouse is useful and it's customizable via the Logitech software. I personally use the thumb wheel for horizontal scroll and the little buttons on the side to switch between tabs. Overall, this is a very very great product so if you have this in your cart, just get it bro. Just get it. For audio, I'm using the HS65 surround headphones from Corsair. I randomly got these from Best Buy because I needed something to monitor my audio quality while editing videos. The sound quality of these headphones are perfect for monitoring audio and it comes with this built-in volume controller on the side which always comes in clutch. 
It has a lightweight construction, a very comfortable memory foam air cup, and it's adjustable for your head size. It also comes with a microphone, and this is what the microphone sounds like. Now carrying everything is this 41 by 23 inch gaming desk I grabbed from Amazon. There really isn't anything special about this desk other than the fact that it gets the work done. I honestly got it because it wasn't too expensive and it looked kinda cool. But right now, I'm really hoping one of these desk companies could reach out to me for sponsorship. Cap. <laughs> it has a carbon fiber look on the top which is kind of cool it also has this headphone holder on the left side and the bottle holder on the right side the chair i use is the marcos ergonomics office chair which i got from ikea i love the design of this chair because it's simple and comfortable at the same time its adjustable and lockable tilt function increases stability and control for different sitting positions it is very comfortable to sit on for hours with the help of the back support and extra relief from the built-in lumbar support also the mesh material of the backrest lets head through your back during long sitting periods so if you're the type who works on your desk for hours i recommend checking this chair out and that that concludes my desk setup tour. Definitely not my dream desk setup but it's where I'm currently at on my desk setup journey. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe for a follow up desk setup makeover. Signing out.